What is going on guys, Waf here, bringing you another progress video as you guys saw in the last episode. Achievement Diaries are out, and I just finished Hard Tasks. I had to go through the entire Haunted Mine for this, so, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Um, I don't know where you get the Bone Crusher, actually. I'll have to look that up, but there we go. Mortania Legs 3, there's some more Runecrafting XP, I think it's 10,000, 15,000, mm, some good stuff. Where does this teleport you to? Oh, you can teleport to Bergdorad. Is this... Is there a limit on the amount of teleports? I don't think there is. That is actually fantastic. Yeah, that's really awesome. So is this just unlimited teleports then? Yeah. Alright. That's that's actually pretty sweet. So uh, I'm going to try to figure out where exactly I get my... Um, Bone Crusher, and I'll have that. And then I think I'm going to try to get the Lumbridge Diary, so I have to do a bunch of Mage Training Arena. I think I'm going to try to get the Lumbridge Diary, the Falador Diary, and um, the Seer's Diary done, or Kandorin, or whatever it's called. Because those uh, give increases to the amount of like herbs that you get from those patches, and all that good stuff. So I think that'll probably be worth doing. And um, yeah, let's do a bunch of Mage Training Arena, that'll be fun. So, here is the Bone Crusher. Now, I'm not sure how it works. Let's say I use 189. 4,725 charges. So, how... What does charge mean? Does that mean it's 4,725 bones? Because if that's true, then... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um... I forget. I think... I know that you can get... Um... I know that now I have that reward where I can trade in bones for bone meal, so that should actually make it really easy to just keep enough ecto tokens to just keep this charged all the time. Unfortunately, I can't do the elites, and I'm nowhere near being able to do the elites. I have to do a lot of fishing. I'll try to get the requirements whenever I can, but um, yeah, overall doing the elites is not going to be easy. So what, do I just do I just, like, bring him bones, and he does it for me? I don't even know. Let's, let's, let's figure this out together. Let's, let's figure this out. But, uh, yeah, overall, I think... I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but... Um, Bone Crusher should be useful, I guess. Kind of. A little bit. Give me some prayer XP. And if it's that easy to charge, I don't know what a charge actually counts as. If it just counts as one flat bone, then I don't know. But I'm pretty sure it said you just use it on him, or you want him to change his stuff. I don't even know. Maybe I have to actually have the legs on. I'll figure it out. Okay, so apparently it's this guy, Robin. You talk to him. What, do you just use the dragon bones on him? Something like that. Uh, apparently... And I don't know, it says that... I don't even know. Wait, what is it? What does it say? You don't have enough space. Okay, so I guess if you just do 13 at a time, that's still pretty damn slow, I'm not gonna lie. But, I'm not sure what my character's doing. But anyway, yeah. So apparently you can just do like 13 at a time. It's still not that fast, honestly. But I guess it might be worth doing. Oh, good lord. No, that didn't, that, no, that's, that didn't take long at all. It only took like five minutes. Bones to Peaches, guys, it's very easy to get. It, it takes maybe 10 minutes tops. If, you, if you're horrible, maybe you know 20 minutes. But nah, it's, it's pretty fun. I mean, I, I love doing it. Oh, yes, I got some pizzazz. Oh, my god. This is... Whew. Not gonna lie, guys. This was uh, this was painful, but I'm finally done. Let's make sure I buy the right thing. Bones to peaches. Uh, yes, I'm finally done with that. I can finally do, I believe, every single diary. I'm gonna actually check. Um, yes, I just need to get my Grigri back and get a rusty sword, which actually might be kind of difficult. But that's all I need to do to get um, to get this stuff done. And I also need to get 125 Chompy kills for Western Provinces, but I don't think I'm going to do that for a while. I think I'm just going to do, like I said, Arjunag, Lumbridge, and Varrock, probably. And that's it. So yeah, let's, let's get this done. Whew, alrighty guys, finished all of the hard tasks in Lumbridge, so that's fantastic. I'm home teleporting out, you know, like a champ. To show that I've mastered the entire area of Lumbridge. Some of those tasks were really annoying. Thank god, uh, I think they changed how fast Belladonna plants grow, because they're supposed to take like 5 hours, but that actually grew in like 20 minutes, so... Thank you. Thank you for that. How do I claim the rewards? Give me the rewards. I want the rewards. Why are you not giving me the rewards? 
I don't understand. This makes no sense. I apparently didn't learn my age from Han, even though I did. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm done. Um, for some reason, apparently cutting the one north in the river does not count as cutting an oak tree, and learning your age doesn't count until you press click here to continue. But there we go. This uh, whoa, explorer ring looks really weird. And there we go. Hard diary is done. That is fantastic. Teleport. Oh, there's no cabbage animation. I hope they add that in. But there we go. Those diaries are done. I might actually get a runecrafting level from this, perhaps, maybe? Mayhaps? Mayhaps? Uh. Ah. Oh, well. Next diary I will. So there we go. There is the explorer's ring. That will be very useful for farm runs. And, uh, yeah. That's, I guess, next up is probably Falador. So, yeah, let's go. Kill one mole, get a tooth key. All right. Boom, I went ahead and sold those pure essence. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of having all that money just tied up. So, I'm probably going to regret that, but I sold them all for 15 each. I sold, like, maybe 100,000 for 16 each, but it was taking forever. I really should have just put them in for 16 each and waited overnight, but it was only, like, a mil difference, so, and not too bad. But I did buy myself a Dragonfire Shield. That should help. Uh, this tab is actually starting to look pretty nice, just with all the sets and stuff. Uh, I'm kind of liking it. I, I'm not sure what my next pur purchase will be. It'll probably be Armadil. But I can actually start going to Armadillo whenever I get a task. Uh, Carol's in a Dragonfire Shield works fine. And if I happen to like solo a hilt, which I'm sure will never happen, but if I happen to solo a hilt, there we go. That'll uh, let me buy full Armadillo and a blowpipe and all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely liking this tab so far. It's 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 pretty it's pretty nice looking. Uh, I have to do rat catchers for Falador right now, so that's I'm kind of procrastinating. I think I'm gonna go do a little bit of pest control, just because. Um, I need it, and uh, hopefully a lot of people will be doing pest control just because you need full void, I guess, for uh, achievement diaries. So hopefully I could find a decent boat going on. I will be using my Darox, so that should help out quite a bit. But yeah, that's uh, I only need the bottoms and the uh, whatever you call it. Yeah, the whatever you call it. The Mage Helm, and then I could start doing some Zolra. I might try to get the Melee Helm too, it depends on how good the team is, but overall, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know. Well, I'm doing Rat Catchers. I just finished what I'm told is the most annoying part of the quest. Um, it's not that bad, I guess. Uh, it was it was pretty annoying, when, but once you realize that the guards are all like superhumans with freaking like 12 squared range and you just need to be really cautious about it. Uh, it takes a while, but it's not bad. Uh, but the main problem here, do not use the Rune HQ guide for this if you're ever planning on doing it. Um, I did the whole thing, teleported out, because I caught all the rats that were in the guide and it, I, it said I didn't catch them all. So I checked on another guide and it just completely ignored one of the rats. It just didn't tell you in the Rune HQ guide. So that's really good. Um, don't use that guide. That's pretty pathetic. But yeah, I think I'm almost done. I think I'm done with pretty much the worst part, so, yeah. Whew, all right, there is Rat Catcher's Complete. Really not that bad of a quest, honestly. Um, it's it's pretty annoying, but eh, it's not bad. So now I can finish all the diaries. Um, pretty much all the hard diaries, I think, from this point I can just finish. So, yeah, I want that pit. <sighs> all right, so here we have it. Um, these tasks were really easy for some reason. The hard tasks are, they've so far been, like, the easiest tasks. I don't know why, but they have been, so here we go. Fantastic. Uh, that will actually be very useful. Can get the claw locator, or the thing locator. I don't even know where I get that, but I'll, I'll do that later. I'll probably kill some giant mole later, actually, just for fun. Test it out. Let's get that runecrafting XP. I think I'll get a level from this one. Am I correct? Yes, I will, definitely. So there we go, 72 runecrafting. Nice. But yeah, I'm going to try out the mole locator. Maybe not right now. Oh, it's on the shield. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, I'll probably test that out. Um, I don't know if I'll do it right now, but eh, I'll I'll try out an inventory right now, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually pretty uh, fantastic doing it like this. If we're being honest, you can actually get this like, you can actually get a lot of kills per trip, and you can get the, a lot of kills like really fast like this, because all it does is just has an arrow pointing to it. It doesn't even tell you which direction; it just shows you exactly where to go. So honestly, this with full Darok, um. Uh, this could probably actually start being a pretty good money maker. I might do this quite a bit while I'm trying to get the pet. Like it, uh, trying to get the pet would probably make me quite a bit. 
Um, I don't know if it's, I mean, when stuff like wyverns are in the game, I'm sure they're better money, but, I mean, this is still pretty good money. It gives you elites, and unfortunately, there's no, like, big drop that it has, but, yeah, it's pretty fun. Okay, so I killed the giant mole for probably about an hour, maybe a little more than an hour. I can tell, by like, my crops still haven't grown at all, so. Oh, I have been hopping the whole time, actually, so it's probably been a little more than an hour. Um, and I collected... Wait, where is it? There we go. This many things, I think they can't be noted. So, rip. But I'm gonna just see, I guess, kind of how much I made, and just see if it's actually half decent money. Okay, I have no idea when they added this, but that is awesome. I, that's great that you can turn those all in at the same time. This is actually, this might actually be really good money then. Uh, I'm going to see exactly what I get. Okay, so we actually got a lot of nests. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how much this is. Over a mil. Um, I can see this crashing nest prices actually a little bit because, yeah, that's, I don't know. I, I think for the amount of effort that it takes, it really should be about a mil an hour, but I don't think that it's going to be able to stay that way, so I'm just going to dump all this stuff in the Grand Exchange. Try to sell it as quick as possible, and, uh, but yeah, overall, I guess the mole is definitely worth doing now, I guess, if you just want something to do and you're really bored. Um, I wasn't exactly killing it the most efficient way possible. A bunch of times, the quick hop didn't work and took me, like, a minute to log back in and stuff, so overall, good money, I guess. Kind of fun. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, well, I have all of the diaries, uh, complete, or all of the, uh, tasks completed for Arjunag, or Ar Ardone, Ardune, Ar Ardugne. Or Dune, whatever you want to call it. I have all of them done except for these two, and I just have to wait like four hours for one, and then like, I don't even know. But um, yeah, I'm almost done. So uh, as you can see, I am lower on cannonballs. Uh, I will explain that. I sold about 80,000 of them because they went up a little bit, and I was making a little bit of money, and I felt like buying Armadil. Um, I'm trying to buy the plate skirt, or the chest plate right now, and I did end up buying the plate skirt. Wherever it is, uh, I'm sure I've gone past it like a thousand. Uh, there it is. Um, so I did buy that, and uh, I'm just going to be able to... I just want to have that for whenever I do happen to get AVNZs, so I can solo Armadil, because you kind of need the best gear possible to solo Armadil. So I'm just going to wait, I guess, until these things grow, and then I'll get back to Slayer, hopefully. Uh, I think just Ardun and Kandarin's all that I need to do for now, and maybe the Wilderness ones just to get the extra, like, ecumenical keys. It would be really useful for Armadil Slayer tasks and all that stuff. But other than that, I, I'm kind of tired of diaries, to be honest. If there's any particular reward that I feel like I really need for something, then I'll go ahead and do it. But other than that, I think I've gotten most of the important ones out of the way. Like the desert one, eh. Um, Kandarin, eh. Or western provinces, eh. Fremenic, maybe, for... Degoneth, Degoneth, Degoneth tasks and all that, all that stuff. So, uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. I'm rambling like crazy. I'm really sorry about this rambling. Oh my lord! <sighs> Have yourselves a good day, guys. Peace.